Today we're taking you on the road out with us uh, around the city to have a look at some Christmas decorations, some eat just some delicious food and have a good time. Let's go. Hi, here we are at the front of the Queen Victoria building and we're going to show you around Sydney and we're going to look at all the fabulous Christmas decorations, aren't we girls? Yeah. It's a bit cold today in Sydney so we have to wear a cardigan. Here we are, now we've come pretty late because we had a busy day today. It's close to five o'clock where a lot of the shops are closing so most things aren't open at the moment. We're hoping that we can get some macaroons if the shop is still open, but we shall see. So here we are in the Queen Victoria building, very, very old building. Very majestic. Very majestic. It's a lovely place to come. Yeah, so our aim wasn't so much to go shopping today, mostly to have a look around yeah. and mostly to get something to eat and have a look at the Christmas decorations because we love Christmas. I love the festive season and I love decorations. Growing up, um, I had a number of not so fabulous Christmases, some pretty bad ones. So I feel as an adult, I always overcompensate and want to have a really fabulous Christmas and especially for my girls, to, for them to have a joyful Christmas. Well, here's the macaroons. Let's have a look. Oh, look at this shop. So we got white Christmas, which is coconut, passion fruit and caramel, vanilla and caramel, El Grey and chocolate, vi violette and blueberry, pistachio. Which one would you like? Okay. So here we've just bought some fabulous macaroons, which we absolutely love, don't we girls? Yeah, now we here we are. Macaroons. This is a giant Christmas tree and it actually goes all the way up, all the other levels. So it's really cool. So it's actually sus suspended. And we've got the big clock here. How did they put it with the clock? Yeah, uh, um, steel, steel cables, I believe. So there's that. I'm super excited to try one. Which flavor are you most looking forward to? Uh, I'm looking forward to the chocolate. Chocolate? What about you, Kamika? Um, maybe, maybe strawberry and passion fruit. Oh yeah, I think I'm looking forward to the cream brulee looks really yummy. I think I'm looking forward to that. All oh, the blueberry looks good too. So we've had macaroons from a lot of different places, but we haven't actually tried it from La Belle Miette. Please excuse me if I haven't said that correctly. If you are a native French speaking, and I've absolutely butchered the name, but uh, very excited to try these ones. So recently, we had uh, some macaroons from another place closer to where we live. So where we are actually is from the water, we're further in town. So that's where the Queen Victoria building is. It's not right near the, um, the harbour there. So here we are coming out on the street. It's not raining, a bit cold, a bit of a windy day. Ooh, lots, of lovely shops. lots of lovely shops, very bright and colourful. I actually don't really shop much in stores if I'm to be honest. Probably do a lot of online shopping if anything. Yeah so I have a lot of people ask me where I get my dresses from and I get my dresses from Review which is an Australian brand here. And I also get a lot of questions about my makeup. I'm a big makeup fan, I enjoy makeup, I also enjoy nails, I mean all of it's fun. But I do buy some makeup from Mecca some smaller places. I like to try lots of brands. For skincare and face products, I, I tend to use Clinique because I have very sensitive skin. Uh, so I do that. So here we are. We always enjoy Mecca, it's always a good time. Here we are. Oh, yummy. We've got the Swiss Hotel Sydney. That's a hotel you could stay in if you like. And we've got the parlor. Oh. This is nice. What is it now? Oh, it's more like a club. I love your outfit. You so cool. uh, thank you. Oh, it's so good to be out in the city, especially after Australia has been in lockdown, which felt like forever. Yeah, I know. Me too. See people, talk to people. It's wonderful. So here we are. Oh, I just, I just miss the city. 
this sort of hustle and bustle. In lockdown, everything was super duper quiet. Nobody was around. You had to stay home unless you needed essential items. So that wasn't cool. And now with this new variant, I believe it's called Omnicrom. My apologies if I'm saying that incorrectly, but with this new variant, oh, we better get that traffic light. We don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, it's so uncertain. So certainly wanna get out and about while we can. So here we are, some street theater. It's always interesting things. We are currently in Pitt Street Mall. This is called the Pitt Street Mall. And this is where the big center point tower is. Here we are, look at this, isn't this gorgeous? Now these are one of the malls, uh, center point, this is center point here. And look how pretty the beautiful Christmas lights are. Oh, don't they look so gorgeous? Mika, look at the pink. Oh, I love it, it's fabulous. We've got Christmas trees, which look very festive. Uh, they look like gum leaves. <laughs> Here in Australia, it's not hot today, but it is very hot at Christmas time. It is not cold. <laughs> at all? <laughs> no, it's not cold. There's Sometimes definitely no it's snow. Fun. Sometimes it's cold, but it's not snowing cold. If you want it to snow, go to the Blue Mountains. The Blue Mountains, yep, it snows in winter there sometimes. So here we are. Walking around. Wow. I like the mountain Now I have a, some people who wanted to, oh, look at the flower shop, isn't it lovely? It's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. I just love it. So beautiful, so pretty. Oh look, is this another macaroon shop? More macaroons. Oh, I love sweet things. I actually love all things. Macaroons everything. I know. Yes, I love all foods. I'm whole I'm on a whole foods diet where I have all the food. <laughs> seafood diet, that's what it's called. I see food and I eat it. I see seafood and then I eat it. That's right. I see food and then I eat it. Oh, some more beautiful lights. Oh, I just love it. So here we are, we're going to eat these delicious macaroons from the little shop that we uh, just walked by in the Queen Victoria building. What's it called? Can you remember the name? La Belle Miette. Yes, La Belle Miette. And it comes in this gorgeous little box here, which we really, yeah, it's so adorable. I so like we look, yeah, me too. So we'll open it up. And who would like to get one first? Me. Me? <laughs> Me. Me. <laughs> okay. Everybody wants to get this. Well, let's open it and see who's is firstly and readily available. Okay, so we've got the chocolate one there. You grab your rose, what's it? Um, I'm going to grab the strawberry. The strawberry, ooh, what about you? I'm going to try the mint. The mint. And I'm going to have the cream brulee. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Really nice. Do you like it? Yeah. Mm. Of course I do. They're macaroons. Mm. We love macaroons, don't we? Mm. Mm. Really tasty, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, so here we are having our delicious macaroons. What flavor have you got, darling? Rose. What have you got? Chocolate. And I've got blueberry. Mm, can't wait. Yummy, yummy. Here Let's. We go. So good. Look at that. Mm. I wonder if there's a macaroon challenge that I can do. Oh no. <laughs> you don't think I should do a challenge? Do you remember what happened last time? <laughs> it started off yummy. <laughs> but it didn't stay that way. Mm. That was perfect. So beautiful. Now I had one of my clients who speak to me personally and directly on my Viber chat. No, it's not a group chat, it's personal individual. Say how clean and nice Australia looks, and particularly Sydney, and it is. It's a really beautiful country and it is very clean and we're very blessed here. We have a lot of good things, so we're very grateful to be here. Oh, that was good.
All right, so we're looking, here we are in Centerpoint Tower. Uh, I, on the top of us is the big tower. We've got some lovely Christmas decorations. We're quite hungry. Now we're thinking about the chocolate restaurant, which is called Max Brenner, the chocolate bar. But we're quite hungry, so we're gonna have a look and see what other food's available uh, that's more substantial than just chocolate. We might have the chocolate later, but we're kind of hungry right now. So we're going to have a look at this. So here I am eating some delicious miso soup. We're at a Japanese restaurant. We decided to eat some real food before we have any sort of chocolate. Funny story about miso soup is actually when I was younger and I had a job and I didn't make very much money, I um, used to get a free miso soup when I'd order my sushi and I didn't like miso soup at all, but I would drink it because I didn't want to waste the free soup because I couldn't afford much, so I would drink it. Um, I didn't have access to making my own food and bringing a packed lunch because I just had sort of a room. So I would often buy the sushi, which was only one dollar, and I would drink the soup. And now I actually love miso soup. And I always tell this story to my girls. If they ever say, oh, I don't like something, I'm like, well, you can learn to like anything if you really want to. Mm. So now I order it and actually pay for it because I enjoy it, but I never used to like miso soup. It wasn't something that I was into. Mm, back when I was young, when I was about 17. <clears throat> so now I'm eating some eel and rice. I do enjoy Japanese food. It's probably one of my favorite foods. Um, it is my cheat day because it's quite oily. Mm. And it's really close to Christmas now. And Christmas isn't a happy time for a lot of people. I know for me, I still have trauma from when I was a child and things that I struggle with. Uh, so go easy on one another, be kind to each other and understand that it's not always a happy time for everybody. And also a lot of fights happen around Christmas, I find, with family members, uh, because there's a certain expectation that Christmas has to be a certain way, you know, so just be kind, show love, and don't be so hard on one another. Okay. Oh yeah, you can have that one. So if you'd like to reshape and transform your body in January and you'd like me to personally coach you and you'd like to be able to be in contact with me, have my personal mobile, text me frequently and have me there to support you and guide you, please don't wait till January to get in contact with me. A majority of my clients that are with me now in December have actually booked me for January. Uh, it's a really busy time, New Year's resolutions, everybody wants to uh, reshape and transform their body. Everyone wants to start a new year fresh and on the right foot. If you hit me up in January, there's a very good chance that I won't be able to fit you in. So if that's something you'd like to do, my suggestion would be to get in now and touch base with me now. Definitely do not wait for January because that's what everyone's doing. Well, not everyone, but those who are not pre-planned most of the women are, that I coach personally are mothers, they, they work, they have businesses, they're busy, and they've learned to pre-plan things. They don't generally do things on a whim. So I actually have um, a couple of my clients that have wanted to work with me long term. Uh, I do allow this, providing that uh, you are someone that I'm happy to continue to work with and that we can work well together. If you're someone who can't listen to instructions, if you can't follow uh, my advice, my knowledge, then I'm probably not going to want to continue working with you. How's your food? Really good, thank you. I wouldn't mind, so this is really nice, I'm eating it all. So I'm having some beef now, I had quite a lot of the eel, so I've actually moved on to some, some beef and veg and rice, very saucy, very delicious. Well, I'm a big fan of Japanese food and Italian. I love pizza, I love pasta and I love Japanese food, they're probably two of my favourite foods. But in saying that, I'll have food from any culture and anywhere and I'll try anything.
so we're in December now. Christmas is coming soon. People are in this festive season, want to eat and blow out. Look, you know John and I are advocates for one day cheat day, but don't turn every day into a cheat day. You most certainly can reshape and transform your body during the holiday period if you do it clever and smart. So if you'd still like to reshape, transform your body and enjoy the festive season, definitely get in touch with me on my Viber chat. It's personal, one-on-one. -on -one. Once you pay your deposit, you'll receive my mobile number and then you'll be able to get in contact with me. Obviously, I'm not just going to give it out to any old person, so you'll have to fill in the criteria. Uh, if I approve you, uh, then I'll, you'll move on to the next phase and then you'll be able to secure your spot uh, with a deposit. You can't actually move on to securing your spot with a deposit unless I approve it. Uh, there is no way to join my coaching without me pre-scanning you and making sure that I can work with you. Uh, if you're a male, I'm not going to accept you. If uh, on the questionnaire you seem what, somewhat problematic, I probably won't accept you either. But it is a screening process that I personally do. I don't just take on anyone, and the reason for that being is I'm only one person. I work best with women, so... And you don't just get my mobile number from filling in your details, absolutely not. You have to be pre-screened by me, I approve you, and then you have the opportunity to secure your place that way. Yeah, they do, don't they? This beef is really nice. Mm. I love Japanese food. Of course I love cookies. Cookies are my ultimate. If cookies are baking and they're fresh, oh my goodness, it almost undoes me. All right, so we just finished eating some delicious Japanese food. Yeah. What did you have to eat, Kiana? I had some udon noodles. And Kamika? I had some udon noodles, miso soup, and steak and rice. Yeah, and I had all of those things plus some eel. And now we're walking to, there's something called This Way to the Great Australian Gingerbread House. I have to read the floor because it's got it written on the floor. We haven't seen it. I hope it's good because I absolutely love gingerbread. I'm actually wearing gingerbread shoes. I don't know if you can see them. They've got um, two little gingerbreads on them. Uh, a lot of people have asked me where I get my shoes. I had uh, a couple of my clients on my Viber chat ask me, where do you get your shoes? They always look so interesting and different. It's actually a UK brand called Irregular Choice, so that's where I get them from. And I love Christmas themed everything. So they're Christmas themed uh, and pink Christmas. I love pink. So I'm super excited. I hope it's really good because I love gingerbread and I love um, gingerbread houses. Oh my gosh, it really is giant. Okay, we're coming up to it. I'm so excited and there's a pool. Oh, that is so cool. There is a pool here. We belong here. We belong here. Oh, look at it. Is that real gingerbread? Oh, it's real. There's candies on it too. Oh my gosh, it's real. And look, there's gingerbread clothes and they're real. Oh my goodness, this is excellent. I love it. Oh, it is a real gingerbread house. This is like a dream come true. Oh my goodness, I want to live there. I want to eat it. If I lived there, I would eat my house. Yeah, but the problem Only on cheat days though. Yeah, but the problem is... Look at this. We live in it for like a little while, but then we'll start eating our way out. Of yeah. But look here, this is, this is amazing. Okay, so this is four meter tour house. It was created using one ton of gingerbread. 450 kilos of lollies and 250 kilos of royal icing. Hi, here we 
are at the giant gingerbread house, which is super cool. This is actually a real gingerbread house behind me. It smells amazing. All you can smell is gingerbread. Yeah, I'm actually a massive fan of gingerbread. I really love it. I love Christmas food. I love Christmas pudding. So I'm all in theme. I wasn't planning on being in theme specifically for this gingerbread house because I didn't know it was here. But I'm super happy because this is just so cool. I absolutely love gingerbread. And the girls will tell you what's my favorite thing to do at gingerbread. Christmas. Gingerbread. Gingerbread, gingerbread man. Gingerbread, yes, I do. It's just so cool. And I, oh my goodness, this is like a dream come true. I just love it so much. I want to live here. I know, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. And it looks like they usually have a store where you can buy some gingerbread cookies and things, but we've come a bit late because we've just had dinner. We totally belong here. I feel like if I could choose a house for myself, this would be it. This is my dream house and it smells absolutely glorious. The smell is so delicious. I just want to mm, live here forever and stay here. It's just amazing. Hi, welcome to my house, my gingerbread house. Welcome, this is where I live. This is my new house. <laughs> Honestly though, I'm a big fan of Willy Wonka. Uh, he's actually my style icon, the OG original. Uh, so this house suits my personality perfectly. I would love to live in a gingerbread house, but I would only eat it on cheat days, so it would last for a little while, I think. <laughs> and here's the girls enjoying the pool. How's the pool? <laughs> oh, I love it. So we just had a look at the giant gingerbread house, which was so cool. Oh, I just loved it so much. I wanted to live there. I love gingerbread. I love gingerbread houses. I love gingerbread cookies. I love cookies. If you've watched Beyond Expectations, you would know that I love cookies. I still do 11 years later. How old are you, Kamika? Um, I'm 11. You're 11. How old are you, Kiana? 12. 12, so there we go. So when we started Beyond Expectations, Kamika was a newborn, Kiana was a one-year-old, now Kamika's 11, Kiana's 12, so there we go. So even still to this day, I love cookies. So we're going to Martin Place now to have a look at the giant Christmas tree. We're going to walk there. We've just had Japanese, we've just had a look at the gingerbread house, and now we're going to get some, uh, sorry, have a look at the giant Christmas tree, and then we're going to go and get some chocolate, uh, which will be really delicious. <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> All right, so here we are in Pitch Street Mall. Lots of really pretty Christmas decorations. It's outside, so it's a bit chilly. It's evening time now. We just finished dinner. We had Japanese food which was really yummy. Then we saw this giant gingerbread house, which was super cool because we are big gingerbread fans, especially me. I love gingerbread. I love gingerbread houses, gingerbread cookies, all cookies I just love. I'm actually wearing my gingerbread shoes today, which was super appropriate. Now we're going to Martin Place to have a look at the giant Christmas tree. Uh, we're walking there. Oh, wow. Beautiful. So pretty. Yeah, so we're going to look at the giant Christmas tree and then we're going to come back here to Pitt Street to have some... I think I think I can feel sprinkling. Oh, it might be raining. Well, I don't know if we can go. Hang on, we'll have a look. If it's starting to rain, we might have to consider... Yeah, sprinkling, I feel it. Yeah, I feel it too. All right, so we're starting to make our way up to Mountain Place to have a little Christmas tree. It's sprinkling and it's actually quite windy. It's getting windy and it's getting a bit dark. So I don't think we can do that today. We may do it some other time, we may not. We'll see how we go. But we're really looking forward to going to Max Brenner, which is a chocolate cafe where you can... So yes, we're yeah. so excited. So chocolate. we've just had dinner, which was Japanese food. Now we're having dessert. Oh, and we had macaroons too. Yeah. So we had afternoon tea of macaroons. We had dinner of Japanese food. Now we're having dessert. Now we're having dessert. Okay. Hungry, so. And we're still hungry. I'm still hungry. That's right. I'm always ready to eat. Okay. Actually, it's really funny. Um, 
I have a client of mine on my Viber chat who speaks to me directly and she said I must have hollow legs and I probably do <laughs> which means that the, the food falls out of my legs not exactly I've actually uh, worked on elevating my resting fat burning rate um, I wasn't born this way yes most of my family are round and we're jolly and we're happy to be so um, so it wasn't something that comes naturally something that I had to work on and it's definitely something I can do with you if you'd like to join me on my Viber chat I can help you to elevate your resting fat burning rate and get your body working hard for you rather than you working hard for your body which is what you do in the gym you work hard for your body but you can do it with food some lovely Christmas music you want to dance dance Woo! Wow, fabulous artists. I always love to support local artists. So the earrings that I'm currently wearing are little. Yeah. So I love to support local artists. So the earrings that I'm currently wearing are little gingerbread with a little gingerbread clip. And they were bought from Etsy uh, from somebody, from a young lady, I believe. I can't remember where she's from, maybe Melbourne. She made them for me. And no, I don't get anything for free. I pay for all my own things. That's not my style. I like to support women and I like to support women in business. So if you come along with me on my vlogs, you will see that I'm often wearing little brooches, little handmade bits and bobs. And that's just a small thing that I can do to help support women. Because I have the belief that if you support women in business, you're helping to put food on the table for children. I'm not looking at supporting some big corporate company. I'm looking at supporting a small business owner, a female but still entrepreneur. Looks nice. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Rather than spend my money on Tiffany & Co, I mean, if that's what you'd like to do, by all means, go and do that. I'd much rather buy my little babbles from... It's just her way of buying nice little cute kawaii things. Yeah, nice cute little kawaii things and being able to support women in business. All right, so we're going to head up to Max yes, Brenner, why? which is a chocolate restaurant oh more macaroons we love macaroons we had some macaroons for afternoon tea we had japanese for dinner and now we're going for dessert which is a chocolate cafe max brenner and how do you hold my excitement right now kiana's super excited how about you kamika what are you most looking forward to chocolate <laughs> chocolate what about marshmallows in chocolate oh, yeah. yes Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. I love food. Since we couldn't eat the gingerbread house, now we can eat the chocolate, which is going to be delicious. So, we've just gone to see the gingerbread house. So we've had macaroons for afternoon tea, Japanese for dinner, and now we're having for dessert, Max Brenner chocolate bar, which is all chocolate. Ooh, that looks delicious. <laughs> looking forward to that oh yummy looks good hey look chocolate check it out oh, that's amazing huh thank you so much for watching thank you so much for uh, joining us on this trip out in Sydney eating delicious food looking at Christmas decorations please give this video a big thumbs up please subscribe turn on the bell notifications all that good stuff if you'd like to do personal coaching with me if you'd like to be in touch with me and get my own private personal mobile number please do sign up for my one-on-one -on -one coaching the links down below thanks so much bye, bye.